I'm going to attempt to use air power and a few everyday household items to make a human float that isn't what it sounds like. I've heard yes. there's a thing you want to make. Yes, it's a hovercraft. I've always been interested in hovering okay. and crafting. Oh. And I feel like I could put those interests together and make something interesting. So we're going to try to make a frictionless vehicle, a hovercraft, for around 100 bucks using a leaf blower, plywood, and a few other everyday objects. Can we pull it off? Now, we just need a smooth surface to try it out, like the one here at this local go-kart track. Uh-oh, looks like Kevin ate it. Yep, it's smooth enough. Now it's time to bust out the hovercrafts. I have graciously volunteered Nick to be our guinea pig. It's the first time I get to be a test pilot, so I'm pretty excited about that. Are you ready to go? He's ready to go. Whatever you're ready, ready? Three. Three, two, one. Wow. All right. Well, that was a success. Woo. Does that work? We'll say it, yeah. Woo. How do you feel, man? Good. That yeah. was awesome. So how does the hovercraft work? The leaf blower blows air underneath the craft into a vinyl skirt. This fills up and creates a cushion of air. This is the same principle by which military and commercial hoverboats work. They float by using a skirted cushion of air and are often propelled by massive fans. But Nick gets going by expelling CO2 from the fire extinguisher. So even though that CO2 canister isn't very big, it's enough to propel him. So what did you think? This is a true hoverboard. It literally left me speechless. I was just standing there staring like with a dumbfound look and it just made my day. That's a frictionless puck, man. You know, an object in motion is gonna stay in motion until it's acted upon by an outside force. Once you give them a push, there's no friction to slow them down. They're gonna keep going for a while. 